You hear that? The spirits are here with me. I've been doing some combinations, striking combinations. I know you can't see it, but there's a red, it's a picker. A picker wood right there, a red picker wood. See, it's about to fly, right about now. Oh, no, it didn't. But it's there. Uh, it's joining me in my training. So, anyhow. There it goes. I'm gonna go back to this cool little spot. Check this out. It's a bridge. Freaking nice. I'm gonna hurry up and take advantage of this. It's lonely right now here. I have this whole bridge to myself. Okay. Look at this view. Alright, you can't beat that, man. You can't beat that. Here we go.
you gotta find ways to make yourself limitless. I, um, I've only technically practiced about, I say maybe 16 hours the most, if that ever, in my life for uh, Kali Eskrima. And obviously, my form is not perfect, it's not even good. I don't care. Uh, I tapped into the flow of it all. Uh, the fun, I, I did get taught some of the fundamentals, but I mean, very, very little, because there's so much to Kelly. But I got a good teacher, a good friend of mine, John G. Uh, Switzerland, I think, is where he's from. Uh, France is where he lived. Um, but he's Filipino. And I asked him one day if he can teach me, or show me at least what he knows, because he knows a lot, but he's too humble. <laughs> he, he swears he, he's not... Um, qualified or certified to teach but maybe not certified to teach it in the sense to get like um you know uh recognized i guess uh properly fundamentally in the right proper way but at least he can teach what he knows show it to someone else because technically that's teaching it just expose it to someone else share it share what he knows that's technically teaching anyhow the point is such a humble guy but he's taught me well enough, well enough for me to adapt to the overall flow of it and actually be able to do it decently, get 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 by with, uh, um, you know, uh, defending myself in the in the situation where I have to use two sticks against another person that has one or two or none or whatever the case may be. Um, but all because of him, you know, he 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 directed me properly. So thank you, John G. But anyhow. Uh, you're only limited to your creativity, man. Right there, that was just me utilizing my creativity. Just having faith in myself, putting my body in autopilot, having faith that I will be able to throw decent enough kicks and that my body's going to adapt under it properly to adjust and flow well enough to keep going with the momentum, going with the flow and adapting as I go. Um, so, oh, this is pretty cool right here. Just like like an old wall of a castle. I'm sure it's really, really old. Um, I'm in Oregon, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but anyhow, don't forget, you're only limited to your creativity. Pain is temporary. Pride is eternal. Fulfillment lasts forever. The fight will be worth it. No matter what it is, if it's physical, mental, spiritual, or metaphysical. And the effort you put into the fight, whatever it may be, whether it's... Uh, Internal, external, meaning your inner demons, right, or outer demons, negativity, darkness outside, or even the inner demons of your loved ones. Whatever efforts you put into any of that, converting dark into light, negative into positive, your efforts will be reciprocated, all right, by God, by karma, by the law of reciprocity, law of attraction, your guardians or teachers, stuff like that, they will reward you. They will pay you back one way or another. So all the efforts will be worth it. The fight will be worth it. All right. So keep pushing on and work to be limitless. Practice all, follow none. Get the beauty of everything and just keep the beauty. Discard the rest and add it to your repertoire. And that way you can go with the flow and adapt as you go properly. Because you'll be familiar with, just barely familiar with so many things. So that means that's going to help you to adapt. Okay, so you gotta think outside the box, not just think outside the box, feel outside the box and perceive outside the box. I thought I seen a bear, but it's uh, cattle. Um, anyways, perceive outside the box and build that temple properly, man. Treat it properly. Nutrition, detoxify yourself. Cleanse yourself mentally, physical, physically, spiritually, even from your loved ones. Right? If someone's toxic, if someone's being an anchor to you, holding you back, create some distance. It doesn't mean you're gonna love them any less. Right? Just creating distance because they're holding you back. They're influencing you, or or uh, um, just basically, yeah, influencing you away from your path. And if that's the case, create distance. Once you work on yourself, you'll, you'll have more 
tools to be able to use under your belt to, to help them hopefully um, you know see the light of things and uh, be more uh, it's freaking beautiful and be more uh, productive you know more responsible freaking gorgeous out here man look at this amazing amazing glory such beauty anyhow my name is Jesus de Medina. I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self-defense training. I'm also the creator of the Temple Builder's Guide. We will guide you to a better temple, upgrade it, reboot it, retrofit it to so basically a brand new one to optimize it and maximize your abilities, agilities, and be proficient with that efficiency. And don't forget, perceive outside the box. Peace.